All right, we are going to do a filter housing rebuild on 01 to I believe 07 Chevy Duramax. Okay, there is your fuel filter housing slash fuel primer. You are going to want to remove the filter before you take it off. Just makes it way easier. There is two 13 millimeter bolts. Well, this truck only has one of them in there. You're going to want to take them out. You have a small ground wire and a small connector for the fuel heater. Then you're going to have two fuel lines, a uh, feed and a return. You want to take them off, pull your, pull your part out, and get it to the bench. I like to gain access to my filter through the wheel well. You don't have to do it that way. You can get it from the top, but it does make it tremendously easier. Okay, once you got it on the bench, you're going to want to go ahead and remove your bleeder screw. Um, go ahead and un unplug the harness for the fuel heater. Again, the ground's on one of these um, T20 Torx. Take out them three Torx. Uh, note on the bottom, there's two more. You're going to want to take them out as well. Okay, once you get that off, you want to uh, always make sure this inside here is good, clean, and smooth. These right here are your plunger seals. A lot of times them are what dry out. They get brittle. That's where you're starting to get a leak from. So you'll want to uh, pull the spring out. Once you take this off, there's also another O-ring right up under here. You can see it right down in there. So that'll come with the kit also. Okay, once you remove the bottom two screws, you will have an o-ring right here on the fuel heater you'll have one right here where it seals and you'll have a check ball in there just make sure you don't lose that okay here's all your goodies i'm using the doorman kit it's a 904-124 i know a lot of people will cuss me for that one thing i wanted to note on the plunger seals they are tapered if you look at that you want them opposed to each other when you install them you want uh, one flare up, one flare down. Uh, here's your two O-rings for the fuel heater. Here is the one O-ring for the plunger body. And then O-ring for the, the uh, bleeder screw. Okay, and there you have it. The uh, disassembly of the fuel filter housing slash primer for, I believe, 01 to 07 Duramax. Just follow them steps in reverse going back together. Take your time. Make sure you don't have any of your O-rings twisted. Uh, little tip, if you heat up the plunger seals, they go on a lot easier. Again, make sure that they're opposed to each other. You want a flare up and a flare down. Um, always change your filter when you're done. Thanks for watching.